I'll be showing you how to make a button that toggles sound on and off. Start by adding a button to your scene. I'll be using a texture button so I can use my own textures. Select your button and rename it toggle sound and enable toggle mode in the inspector. This will allow the button to be toggled on and off. Next, add a script to your button. You can also use a pre-existing script if you already have one. Delete all this useless stuff and write the following line of code. This line of code will get the index of the audio bus that we want to use and save it as a variable for us to use later. You should name the variable something that's related to your audio bus. The name of the audio bus that you want to use should go inside of these speech marks. You can see what audio buses you have by selecting the audio tab at the bottom. I won't go into audio buses too much inside of this video, but you can see what audio buses you have and their names here. The default bus is called master and is probably the one that you'll be using. I go into more detail on audio buses and how to use them in my video about audio in Godot. You can check out in the top right. I'll also leave a link to it at the end of this video. Plugging my own videos aside, select your button and head to node next to the inspector. Select signals and double click the press signal. Connect it to the script that we just made. Instead of the press button signal, add this line of code. This method can be used to mute and unmute the bus, but in order for it to do this we'll need to give it two parameters. The first parameter is the index of the bus that we want to change. This is where we'll put the name of the variable that we created earlier. In my case, this is music bus. The second parameter will either be true or false, but because we want to toggle the audio, we'll be changing it to the opposite value that it's currently set to. This method will get the current state of the audio bus, and this NOT operator will toggle it between true and false. Remember to put the name of your variable inside of this operator. And that's about it. If you now run your game and click the button, any sound that comes from your chosen audio bus should be toggled on and off. Before you go, consider checking out this video on how to add an audio slider into your games. Or maybe checking out this one about audio in Godot.